what is up fam hope you're having a great day today if you're not you should because you can if you clicked on this video it's true 100% true this is probably the last time that I ever do this maybe I, I it's gonna be the last time in a while and uh, reason being there there is there is a reason why but I don't want you to think that my reasons are for being ungrateful, unhappy, any of those things. It's actually the exact opposite. In fact, I'm just I'm just too busy. And I've let a few people down. I'm sorry. It's been people like kinda upset with me. And I, I don't want that. And to be honest, like I, I would much rather First, let me just get into what I'm talking about, okay? And that's fan mail. Okay, there's Tiffany right there. Some Somebody mailed her in too. But, yeah. Why is it that I'm choosing to close my P.O. box and not do fan mail anymore? Because you get behind and then everybody gets mad. Yes. I mean, not everybody, but I, I feel like I let you down. I... I when I do fan mail, I'm very different than other YouTubers. Some YouTubers will just open up their fan mail on their own time and maybe pick a few things out and be like, hey, I got this in the mail. Especially, I mean, uh, a creator of my size, I'm not trying to boast or anything, but I get a lot of mail. I do. And in fact, I used to get even more at one point and I just told people, you know, hey, look, I really don't, I don't want you sending me fan mail anymore. It's not because I don't appreciate it. It's because, to be honest, like... I appreciate you just being my fans and, and watching my videos and donating a like at my videos. I mean, I don't really need stuff. I'm not really a materialistic person. The thought is great. I love the thought. It's the thought that counts. But honestly, like, I'm I'm just as happy if, if you send me a postcard or if you just send me an email. I mean, sometimes I might not respond to it. I do get a lot of emails, too. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, it's, it's nice every once in a while reading some emails and reading about how people inspire are inspired and maybe to start their own channels or maybe they're inspired to, to start ghost hunting or or doing other things you know just being better people in general or being more positive or, or whatever whatever the case maybe to open a people box <laughs> but I don't know I'm so behind on fan mail and I mean I'm a busy guy I do a lot of traveling back and forth to to go to locations and, and film and I even had to, and Tiffany as my witness, I even had to recently turn down a TV show offer because of how busy I am. I know you might think I'm crazy. Like, hey, why would you do that? Like, you know what? I'm perfectly content where I'm at in my, in my life. You know, I'm perfectly content with how busy I am too. And I mean, that's not just me being busy with work and, and doing YouTube videos and things like that. It's also being, being a dad. You know what I mean? I, I have my kids when I'm not working. Um, I mean, I'm still working, but when I'm not traveling to make videos, I'm usually here with my kids full time. Like me and Melissa have, if you don't know Melissa's, she's my ex. She's mother of my kids. Great mom, by the way. And we share the kids. Like she, they, the kids go with her for a couple of weeks and they come back with me a couple of weeks. And the reason why we have it like that, it just works out a little bit better. And I, I just don't want you, to, you guys to think that that I'm not grateful and, and I don't appreciate things like this. I very much do, but I get behind and I usually like, I like everyone to see that I opened up their mail. And that's one thing that I've always done from the start of my channel is I always acknowledge any piece of mail that I've gotten, whether if it's a letter, I might not read the letters, but I always read the names or I'll open up a package on a live stream and I, I don't want you to, don't want you to feel left out if you ever sent me something. And we even went as far as like talking about uh, sending some things back. And I am working on something like that if, if you've ever sent me some fan mail. Um, but I, I am going to probably probably be closing my, my P.O. box. I, I really don't want to. But um, I, I don't want to upset anybody anymore. Because, I mean, Tiffany, I'm not going to name any names. But Tiffany received a couple messages. I've received some messages, uh, especially just, you know, since I've been doing fan mail where 
people have sent me something maybe like a month or two before and and they get mad they get mad at you that you didn't open up their mail or, or maybe acknowledge them and, and I, I i don't want anybody getting upset with me or thinking that that i don't appreciate them sending me anything because i really do really do but i more than ever i i I just appreciate you being there and being supportive of my channel. That really means more to me than anything that you send me in the mail. Like that just mean it's it means that you're connecting with me and I mean honestly like I started this channel just messing around and making videos with my kids and and it became something and I and I'm I'm just thankful for that. Honestly that you're watching my videos because without you I wouldn't be able to make videos. So anyways, and we're is not right down the street it's like yes okay it. i'm glad she brought that up because yeah my post office box now when i originally opened up my post office box for some of you who follow my earlier vlogs like in 2013 when i opened it up it was on my way to my job and my job is well where i used to work as a hairdresser it was like an hour from where i live right now and every day i would go and stop at my post office because it was right on the way it was very convenient. Well, being that I do YouTube now full time, I, I don't really, it's like way out of the way now because it's a good 30 minute drive or so. It was on my way to, to Tampa because that's where I used to work. So it's not easy. That's another thing too. I'm glad you brought that up. It's not easy for me to get to my PO box. So. And then you don't want to open one that's closer because you, so many people have this PO box. Well, I was going to say that too. I mean, here, here's the thing is, if I decide to start doing fan mail again, it will be more convenient for me to open up a P.O. box closer to home. Because, I mean, to be honest, like, I have the, the P.O. box workers, they call me. Okay, it's a very small P.O. box, like, office. And they call me. You could ask her. They call me. And they're like, hey, like, there's, too much, there's too much stuff here. Can you please pick it up now? And like I'm like, okay. And there was even there was even a time about a couple of years ago where I was paying Jill at the post office, paying her like a hundred bucks or so just to bring me my mail. I would pay her. That's how busy I was. And that got to be pretty expensive. What was it? It was like seventy five dollars every trip or something like that. So I'm going to, if I do do this again, I mean, it's not going to be anytime soon, but, but maybe I will. Okay. Maybe I will. And it will be something closer. But as for now, I'm closing my PO box and I'm, I'm not going to be doing fan mail for a really, really, really long time. And I was, I, I do love the, the live streams, the, the fan mail live streams. Uh, if you notice this video doesn't have, I'm going to actually try not to have any cuts in this video. So then it's kind of like a live stream. Uh, but when I do the fan mail live streams, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm juggling, reading comments and, you know, so that's why I didn't do a live stream for this because uh, there's a lot of mail here and I, I wanted to, you know, I'll, I would much rather be able to like be happy, happy to engage with you. Maybe if we do like a live chat or something like that, like a premiere. So if you're watching this on a premiere, make sure to smash that like button, especially if you've sent me something. So. I don't know. That does that sound rude? Like what I? No, I mean, and you're still gonna like. You're not saying that it's over, over. Like you might get some help in like with it, but yeah. You, I mean, and plus, you still have to go check it again because this is mail from a while ago. I have so mail, have and I, I feel there. horrible. I have mail here probably from December. And like, we were gonna go check it today, but we were. I have rushing mail from like Christmas time here. It was late. So, yeah, this is from December. I mean, look at all this stuff. This look. is from December 6th. Um, you got... <laughs> like, I feel so bad. I mean, if, if you sent me something and you've been waiting for me to open it, my apologies. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and open it now. And I, I, I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. I know that there's been people that they've sent us. I mean, look, this was back in... <sighs> I feel so bad. This was in December, December 10th. This came to my post office, but I don't even know when I was able to pick it up. I probably sat there for like a month or so. I was you have so mail busy. Right now. I do have mail at at my and post we were office. Going to stop today, but we were rushing. I don't have a lot of mail. I don't have a lot of mail at my post office, but whatever mail I, I do have there that you did send me, I, I will maybe like include it in a vlog or something. So I mean, <laughs> so this isn't. I mean, 
this is going to be the last time, like, big fan mail opening, like, for sure. But I am going to be closing my mail. I mean, I mean, I have, like, probably, like, a thousand videos with my P.O. Box address on it. That Like, that sucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm not going to be able to go through every one of those videos and change that. But, you know, please, if you if you do plan on sending me something, like, just just hold it. Okay? Don't send me anything. Just like my videos for life. How about that? Even if you don't watch them, just like them. That's all I need. That's all. I don't need you to send me anything. I do appreciate it. If you do want to send me something, maybe you could send me an email postcard. Is there such a thing? A picture of a postcard through an email? Oh my gosh. Hey, we can make some money. We can, like, post emails. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so um, if anybody steals that idea from me, they have to definitely pay me at least a 20% commission. I'm pretty sure there's something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's the knife? Let's get started. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, yeah. No, come here. Come here. He's going to north. Come sit back with me. All right. First package is from... Sherry Martz. Martz. I think. I think that's right. It's M. It's in cursive. M A U R I T Z. Merry Christmas, by the way. Is that how you say it? Did you just cut a card? Huh? Did you just cut a card? <gasps> Did I? Oh, no. I cut the. No. Is it a card or is it just no, it's not a card. Okay. It's just an address. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Tip, uh, she said a good point there. You see, it looked like a card right there, but it wasn't. Oh, I would cry. All right. Okay, this is to you, too. I'm going to let you open this. I just put all my Christmas stuff away, so we're gonna probably have to leave this one out. No, uh, -uh this can still be decorated. That's what I'm saying. I we can, like, I can put that by the fireplace. Is there a plug? You can see it. Really quick. Um, yeah, here. Oh, that's so oh, cute. cute. Did somebody send us a? Uh, it was a Halloween one. Oh, no, like I think that. they sent it to Chelsea. Oh, it's and Chelsea. And they said that they were going to send us one for. Oh, and then that's probably it right there. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much, Sherry. That's I appreciate true. that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm opening this up in Feb February. These can always be nightlights. It does not matter what time of the year it is. That's true. I love nightlights. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. Look. That is so cool. I love that. This is a, this looks like, uh, you know, the Grinch. I love when people make, uh, like, actually make cards. And you can tell that Sherry, like, handmade that. So, thank you. And thank you, Sherry, because the Grinch is my favorite Christmas movie. I love Grinch, the Grinch. I still watch it. I love it. Jim Carrey, like, period. I watch it throughout the entire year. So, it says, season greetings. <laughs> so this is a bad reading this right now. <laughs> Season's greetings. And best wishes for a happy new year. Happy new year, by the way. All my best to you guys this holiday season. Sherry from Minnesota. P.S. Glad you guys liked my decorative Halloween wine bottle. Yeah, because she, she made that. There you go. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. That is absolutely beautiful. All right. And I still have, like, a lot of mail that you guys have sent me. Like, I, I still I have it in boxes, like, believe it or not. Like, especially drawings and things like that. I don't show every single thing during my live streams, but I do keep a lot of that. So, thank you if you've ever sent me some. I even, I think I still have like the very first fan mail I ever had, ever. I, I still have that. And it was from Ryan and Ryan and Coco. That, that was their, that was their name, their wow. YouTube channel. Name. Not sure if they watch my videos anymore. If they do, 
I love you guys. I actually shipped them chickens in the mail. I inspired them. That's who you sent them to? Yeah, it was in Colorado. Sent them three roosters in the mail. Awesome video, by the way. So this is from Sandra. This came all the way from Honolulu. Oh my gosh. Whoa, wait. What is this? Oh, is that Hawaii snacks? Yeah. I didn't know that there was such a thing. I didn't know that they had like, Are yeah, Mauna Loa. Ooh. Hawaiian custard butter Maui onion mochi onion. mix. Sandra, thank you so much. This is so cool. And what are these? Norsi Iso peanuts? Wait, is this to make a, a cake? Yeah. Stop the madness. Japanese style peanut crackers. Yo, this is so cool. I, man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I do love opening fan mail. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love opening stuff up. Really, really do. Me and I make this. What is this? That's uh, somewhere. Something in there. Your phone's going crazy, by the way. Emails. <laughs> Whoa, there's all kinds of stuff in here. I didn't know that whole, whole, I mean, you, you think to yourself, like... Oh, these are rice crackers. We have, I mean, Hawaii is is a, is a not like its own country. It's, it's a part of the U.S., so everything should be the same. No, they got, like, Hawaiian stuff. I, I'm sorry if I, I, if I offended someone from Hawaii by saying that. But, I mean, I guess it makes sense, because we have Floridian stuff here. Oh, my God, is that chocolate? Yes, ho Hawaiian chocolate it's called aloha max uh, aloha max aloha max try to eat i want one these things are fucking weird okay there we go okay that's what she said there might be a, a slight cut because oh, yeah. my camera records it only records like i think 29 minutes or so they're so right, these ones are what are these they're rice crackers Ooh, mm -hmm. that's different. That. Uh huh. It's like a, a fluffy first. Tastes like a cross between a cracker and a pretzel. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's different. You want one of these? It's chocolate, dude. Of course. <laughs> Look at this cute little cutler, too. Okay. I'm going to give you a, a bite. Huh? Oh! Hmm. This cake, mm. I bet you it's blue. Shit. Yo, that's really good. I've never had Hawaiian chocolate before. Or some here, too. I've always wanted to go ghost hunting in Hawaii. Wow. This what is, is this? really good. A Chilling Tale of Shave Ice by Glenn Grant. Here's. <laughs> oh, that's my boy. Oh, it's about haunting stuff. In Hawaii? Mm-hmm. What? What the hell is Go Go Hunting in Hawaii? I think of Scooby Doo. Mm -hmm. The. Where they go to Hawaii or something? I don't think Go Go Hunting in Hmm? I don't think Go Go Hunting in Hawaii. Yes. Mm -hmm. Think of him too. Made Best Rest of Peace, by the way. Mm -hmm. I follow him on Twitter. I broke my heart on Valentine's Day. He like put a picture oh, yeah, that was really sad. of of Beth and and he said, you know, um, my angel or something like that or like I'm missing you so much. I'm so lost. And it broke my heart, man. Broke my heart. All right, there's a card here. If you want to read it. Oh my god, those are just. What is this? So freaking good. Terry teriyaki burger too. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so some of this stuff is for James, too. Well, this is for... I want some more chocolate. Oh, I was trying to help you out here. My mom saw me today, and she was like, looks like you're putting on some weight. You were just lactating. I was lactating. It says, tis the season to be jolly. With some pain ones wearing... <laughs> this is Christmas stuff. I'm so sorry, Sandra. Thank you so much, by the way. Thank you. This is very sweet of you to send me some stuff. Huh? 
Aloha from Honolulu, Hawaii. I just wanted to send you a few quick snacks and book and a book from Hawaii. The book was written by a local I can't hear you. Professor. It's a lot. Oh, okay. So that book was by was written by a local professor who passed away a few years back when he used to do ghost tours until he passed. Mm. It was just a lot. I'm just reading it really quick. Just gonna talking summarize about, it for you. Let's talk about taking ghost tours. Um, she's always loved them. Hope one day that you all can make it out here. Sorry for the messy writing. It's not messy because I can understand it. So that's good. Um, and all the mistakes. I want to go soon. Type my letters. I want to go soon to Hawaii. Where? where Hawaii. What do you want to do there? I want to go soon. Oh yeah. Make some ghost videos. A friend of mine lives there, Brittany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my best friend is. Didn't she let me live there? I mean, not live there. Visit. Stay with her? Mm -hmm. I should totally text her and be like, "Hey, girl, we're going to Hawaii." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not you, me. No, she's not gonna let you stay by herself. No, Why? you'll need me there. I'm trying to go to Hawaii, though. It's just so nice. Um, it's really good. Oh, so it had she put in a business card. As well. It's a business card. Um, federal credit union. Hey, are you trying to work on my credit? Should I show them a business card? No. No, because it has her personal email and stuff on it, she said. Okay. It's Sandy. Wait, Sandra and Sandy are the same thing, right? Yes. Sandy okay. and Sandra. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> Oh, she wrote. That's and a really cool outfit. It's not Irish. <laughs> look, if you look, <laughs> that's what she put on there. <laughs> I hope I said that right. But thank you so much. It says, yeah, LOL, not Irish. Aloha. Malia's name is a Hawaiian name, if you, if you got to know. That's a Hawaiian name. It's real popular now. But hey, thank you so much. Very sweet of you. I love all the goodies. I love the Aloha, Aloha Max. So good. Are you talking about chocolate things? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is this one? Amanda. Amanda Lewis. Lewis. From Kentucky. Louisville. 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 You don't say Louisville. I say Louisville because of Louisville. So it's slur. It's a Louisville slur. Oh, oh, you know. That's not how Carrie Underwood is. It says it in her song. What is all this? Oh. What the heck? Are those letters? I think they're meant to spell like our names or something. Are those like handmade? Like yeah. Let me see. There's so many of them. What? what? I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open one and see if it spells. Yeah. Me. I think they're just random letters to spell stuff. That is so cool. There's so much in here. Ethan, wait, Ethan, this spells Ethan. Oh, wow, look at that. Hold on, oh, let's see what this one spells. Oh my God, that is so cool. This one's, uh, N. Boston. This is Boston. You're so smart. Yeah, look. <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, hang on one second here. Right. Okay, I just had to, had to push record again, please. So cool. Only lets me record. It's 24 minutes. Or 23. Oh, we're on there. Okay, here. That has like everybody's name in there. Well, I want to see who this is. I want to keep them together and organize. Dude, this. That's so like, cool. cool I could this. totally see that in his room. I bet you this is Ariana. Amanda, thanks so much. Okay, there's an R, uh, an I, O, an I. Yep, this is Ariana. Bam. I am good. Ari. Oh, excuse me. M E L. Oh yeah. Well, there's an S. M E L A S. Is Malia's? Malik. Melissa? No, it says M E L A S. M E L A S. Melis? Melis? Is this supposed to be Malia? 
I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe that's supposed to be somebody else. Maybe that's Chelsea. There's Wait. There's a C or an H. Yeah. There's an M and an E. Sorry. Look, yeah. I got, we got Ariana. Oh, it's so spooky. Yeah. Make sure to do this to her. Yeah. It's from Amanda. From Lou. Wait, did I say Amanda? It's Amanda, right? Mm -hmm. From Louisville. Thank you so much. This is so cool. I There's love so when people here. hand make stuff. This has to be a lot of the same. Like, I even love, like, pictures. Like, if you draw me a picture, like, I love that. There was a time, and I will do it again one day. But I, my old office, I had all of, like, all the artwork that I got from fan mail, and I pretty much just plastered it, like, all over the walls. And it was so cool. It was this so, so fun. It is Chelsea? Yeah, there's so many names in here. Okay. There's got to be James. And then... This is a really cool box. It looks like a, I don't know, like a cigar box or something. Huh, let's see. It's packaged really well. Curious what, what this is. Um, it doesn't say where it came from or how a return address, but I guess we'll find out. I've gotten some really weird things in the mail before. I'm not saying this is weird, but... It's definitely interesting. This box is so cool. Look at that. What do you think is in here? Um, chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, oh, just you know, just okay. why not? That's definitely not chocolate. Is it a Bible? That would be cool. Oh, is it? It is a Bible. <gasps> The living, the living Bible. Wow, and it comes in a cool case. That's so cool. What's inside? There's like a part or something inside the Bible. Let's see. Thank you, whoever sent this. Oh, there is a card. Omar and family. Thank you so much. Because my Bible is really old. And I... It needs to be read more, 100%. Okay, this is Melissa. This one's for Melissa. Melissa? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is... <laughs> oh, my God. At Thanksgiving? Somebody... Stop. <laughs> this oh. was set during Thanksgiving. Oh, man. Love and prayers. May your heart and home be filled with warmth and contentment. Happy Thanksgiving. I am such a bad friend. Let's just, let's just say that right now. Okay, there's a little note here. It says, Dear Omar, it is extremely... Oh, wait, you here's will... it. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. We'll use to fulfill... Please read the Bible. We love you and are praying for you guys. So there's no name on this on this letter, like who sent it, but whoever sent it, um, whoever sent this Bible, I, I appreciate it. I really do, and um, and thank you for thank you for the letter. I, I do I do need this, and um, and I do need to read my Bible more. So thank you so much. And I seen one that said Jane, and it's not Jane. Uh -huh. It's Jean. Jean. Okay. It out. This is so nice. This is a this is a very nice Bible. And it has a really awesome protective case. I've never read the New Living Bible. I'm not sure. I think that's what my Bible was. Is it? Mm -hmm. Like I, I had like the I have the King James, of course, King James version. And then there's a New King James version. And there's also a new new um something. NIV. They call it the NIV. What's the NIV? The NIV? Yeah. New International Version. Oh. That's what it is. Okay. But thank you so much, whoever sent that. Very, very thankful. That was very sweet. I've never been sent a Bible before. So that's, that's really nice. All right. This is from Brandon J. Harrell. 
from Maryland. From Maryland. Here, Hagerstown, Maryland. That thing got a hemi. That's, that's what it says at the bottom. That thing got a hemi. <laughs> I actually say that too. Whoa, cool. No way. Look at this light. Yeah, this is nice. Hi, I'm Laura. My name is Brennan Hall. I'm from Hagerstown, Maryland. I see that you have trouble seeing at night um, on your adventure. So here's a great searchlight that I have, that I even have myself. I hope to meet you soon. Enjoy your oh, gift. Dang. Brandon here. Oh, what, what is this? Hey Brandon, this is so cool. This is a it looks like a very, very nice light. Wait, is this him? It's a re, this is a rechargeable light. No doubt, man. Oh, Thank you so it. much, bro. Oh my gosh, TV. And it uses it's a USB chargeable light. Dang. I'm gonna take it out. Check it out. Okay, is this him? Okay. Oh, that's from 2014. Uh it's a picture, though. Maybe it is. This is my boy, Brandon. Yo, thanks so much. You look like you're having a good time there. <laughs> Didn't need your light, by the way. Maybe he... It looked like one of those, like, color me rad type things. But it, it's at night. It could have been, yeah. Maybe it's just a really kick-butt rave. That was in Washington, D.C. It might be a rave. Whatever it is, it looks like I'll... Oh, lifeincolor.com. Lifeincolor.com. Yo, this is a really kick-butt light, man. Check this out. It's got a little lantern on the side. I wonder if it'll turn on for you. Whoa! Wow. What the heck? That's going to be what I put on my forehead if the next time you take me into a cave. Oh, look at that. All right, hold on. Let's see. Whoa, dude, this is amazing. It's actually for the oh, size. All types of things. It's actually really light, too. Dude, this is awesome. It came with like a full charge, too. I feel how light this is, like for the size. That's amazing. Brandon, yeah, has, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Look, it has a, a USB thing. Oh, you can plug yeah. up stuff to it. You can charge your phone on it. It has, wow. No way. That's pretty cool. Damn, that's you think cool. I would get away with this? Oh, 100%. 100%. You know, since I'm always left without a light, just saying. My battery's gonna die. So there's gonna be another cut. Oh, is that why it's blinking? Yeah. I'll just wait for it to die. <laughs> let, let me know when it turns off the screen. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much. I do have a problem with, with lighting. This is a. I'm gonna show you the light that I use. For my adventures, I mean, it's it's pretty pretty awesome for the size. Like when, whenever you see things, I mean, things are really dark where I go. But this is, you know, this is my light that I use. It's compact. You know, I could stick it in my pocket and it charges up. It uses a USB to charge it up too. But man, that right there, that'll light up that those dark dark caves that we go into sometimes. Remember the Skinwalker this cave? This would be good for. Oh, you can't see. This would have been good for um, Hell's Gate, or Hell, Hell's, Gate, Hell's Den, Hell's Gate in Jersey. Where, where oh, the Devil's Gate. The Devil's Gate, or yeah, something like that. That place was dark. Yeah, it was dark in there. And we went during the day. And full of bugs. Full of bugs. It was, yeah. I wonder if it's okay now to go. It's, it's cold. The bugs probably go on the roof. It might be. I don't know. All right. Have one ready to go when this dies. So I am prepared. Let's open to be honest. This one? Yes. Ruby this is chip. big. Whoa. This is from Groovy Hippie Chick. Cindyana Jones. Did I say that right? Cindyana? Or Cindyana. AKA Groovy Hippie Chick. From that is such a California like thing too. She lives in California. She lo does live in California. She lives in or Cucamonga. Wherever it is, on her Instagram, she posts pictures of mountain grass out of her window with snow on top. And it was like... That's Cali for you. It was like... <laughs> this thing is stuffed. 
She, oh I my she, gosh. Whatever it is, I think she handmade it. She too. paid a lot of money for this. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do this. I'm not even going to show the price. I feel bad. See that? It was a lot of money to send this. There's a big package. Oh. Whoa, what, what is this? Whatever it is, she made it, I think. She was asking what our favorite colors were. So. Okay, so this is the one that we got from Walmart. Oh, I love the colors, whatever it is. And it's shrimp wrap. I think this is going to be whatever it is, I think this is yours. Okay. Oh, it's one of those vacuum bag things. Yeah. Okay, there is a card. Damn. That's to Omar and Tiffany. Here is another. Oh, that one's mine. So this is yours? Yeah. This is probably going to be really big when we open it. Did she actually make this? Yes, I think so. Because she asked what like our favorite colors were. See, I, I think it's a blanket. You how much I appreciate you for making these. By making these chunky, chunky blankets for you and can take them on your... Cold night adventures or wherever. We could take these when we go camp out in your truck one night. Okay. And back. Hope you will enjoy them no matter how they are used. I also added a box of color, wait, of color grabber. So they. Oh, right here. What is that? Wash mixed colors and so whites. They stay nice. With confidence. Oh, wow. It's used with gentle soap. I've never heard of this. May your Christmas wishes come true. I'm sorry. Loving the hell out of y'all. She's so cute. <laughs> Groovy chick, you rock. Open this. Aren't these bags expensive? I could send this Ooh. back. What? They're so soft. Is it? Oh my goodness. I love the color. That's, that's like Bucks it's colors. Bucks colors. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is so soft. Oh, it is. Yeah, that. <laughs> Dang, this is awesome. This is great to like cuddle up by the couch and stuff. I love it. You want to see yours? Mm -hmm. It's really thick. <laughs> I know she's <laughs> okay, so the battery died. We're back though. This is kind of cool that it's not a live stream because some people be like, lag, lag. But I, I wanted you to feel like, you know, you're kind of here with, with, with me, with us. We're gonna take a picture and send this. I guess she talks to Groovy Chick. That's her name, Groovy Chick. Mm -hmm. We're gonna send her a picture, us cuddling with our blankets. Yeah. I love it. It's so soft. I wish you could feel it. It's yeah, not I even. Want to what? A piece of that chocolate can pass to me. Okay, please. I got you, fam. I think I'm gonna cuddle it with it too. I don't think this is gonna make it through the night. What this chocolate? <laughs> yeah, we're already like halfway done with it. Here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Groovy Chick. We love our blankets. I love the colors too. Oh, what's this? Mm -hmm. That's the package. Huh? This is from. It doesn't say. It doesn't say right there? Oh, it just does go not across TV, huh? Maybe there's something on the inside. You know, brown. Yeah. Remember one time somebody sent me this. Sorry if I'm talking with my mouth. It's so good though, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> really, yeah, right there. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. We got this box. It was full of like. I got like a tampon in there. I remember that video. Mm -hmm. And I remember this one time, like somebody sent me. Um, it was like a salt, and I, I, we thought it was. We actually ended up calling the cops during our live stream because we thought it was poison or something, and I ended up coughing. I think I inhaled some of it. And yeah, so I get a little nervous when 
I get mail that doesn't have a return address or a name on it. Sorry for the box for a small item, but the up store deliveries don't care if it's glass. UPS stores. The what? UPS stores. Is that what they said? UPS instead of up. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the up store. <laughs> I think it meant post office? No. UPS. UPS. <laughs> the UP store. You're so cute. Whatever, here. It doesn't have a name though. It's flat, wait, don't care if it's flat or not. It's fragile, I'm assuming. Well, whatever it is, I think it made it safely. It's like there's no name on it. Yeah, there's no name on it. Oh, there's another letter. Here. Nelson Kennedy Ledges State Park Nelson Kennedy, that's a strong name Nelson Kennedy Ledges State Park I think is haunted There was a man that did die In the ledges If you, are, if you come Bring the fan please Look after the fam. It is very dangerous day and night there. P.S. Here is an Aztec death whistle. What the what? I found it in a storage unit. What the? What the hell? I'm about to Google that. Yeah. Hmm. So, they're from Ohio. This is from April. An Aztec death whistle is a deeply sampled folk wind instrument sample, sample library that captures the dark song of an ancient Aztec death whistle. A ceremonial clay used during human sacrifice rituals and Whoa. warfare at the height of the Aztec, historically also known as the Mexica, the Empire of Central America. What is a death whistle used for? This instrument is known as a death whistle. It's a whistle of death because historians believe that they were used to help sacrifice the rich victims on their journey to the afterlife. Another theory holds that the hundreds of instruments are used Whoa. in unison to scare enemies during battle. Look at that. It's a skull. I almost don't want to open it. All right, it says, how does the death whistle work? If your worst nightmare had a soundtrack, the Aztec death whistle would be prominently featured. In the hands of a skilled user, the instrument creates the spine-tingling wail of a thousand tortured souls being carried onto the cold wind while with the screams of death, rattles of the few wild jungle animals mixed in. Holy that word, that just sounds freaking scary. Should I play it? Oh, no. 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 Hey. 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 What? No, 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 no. Don't play it. Why not? Because what if it's like going to bring some things in here? No. What do you mean no? I got it. What do you mean you? I just read things to you. It has a note. It says, thank you for your... Please know that your Aztec death whistle has been quality tested. Tips to make your whistle make the correct sound include purse your lips and place gently on the mouthpiece, retract your tongue, and make sure your fingers are not blocking the holes inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> Exhale rapidly into the whistle. Please note that like a musical instrument, this may take practice to some proper sound. I don't want to listen to it because I'm afraid it's going to Look at that. It's a death whistle. It's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it looks so awesome with tortured souls about to be set. <laughs> Wait, how do you do it again? I don't know, just stop. 
Exhale, exhale rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> I scared her. Got like a flavor. Wow. So now you're inhaling souls. Okay, I need practice. It's like a music I think it's kind of like a like a flute or something. Sounds creepy. <laughs> okay, that took my breath away. I, I heard a, a, a kind of like a little. This is whistle. from April. I read, I read most of it. Yeah, yeah that's that was her name. April, thank you so much for the death whistle. I this is very unique. I've never gotten anything in the mail like this. This is very, very cool. Very, very cool. Very, very scary. I'm gonna give it to Boston. No, you're not. Why? No. Look at people climbing over the fan mail. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, we got more stuff. Yeah. This one's wrapped in candy cane oh, duct tape. It's falling. Oh. Okay, well, I think, you know what, I already pre-opened this. I did that with a couple packages so that we could save some time. But I didn't see what was inside, I promise. Was it Pinky square. Um, oh. It is from... Whoa. Donna, uh, Miss Donna Ralph. From Michigan? Is it Michigan? Or is that Missouri? I can't see. Because Luna needs all my attention. Hastings. I think it's Michigan. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Donna, I apologize. You probably sent me this around Christmas time. And it's it's probably something very Christmassy too. Is there a note? Yes. You not there's another note to that in. <sighs> Wipe with damp cloth. Do not wash or put in weight. Donna Rob. Merry Christmas all. Thank you so it's much. A, it's a cookie plate. Here, look. Not you. Please. Yeah, cookies like a plate. It's a cookie plate that you put for me. Oh my! Wait, did she make this? What? Oh, that's so pretty. I wouldn't want to use this. You know what? what you did get? she really make that? I don't know. I mean, look at it. It feels. Let me see. You can get one of those like dish holders, like you know, like a decorative plate holder. Whoa. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I'm glad that it's not broken. Because a lot of things that that come our way like come broken. Um, especially if it's glass like this. This is That's so really pretty. pretty. It's really, really nice. Thank you so much, Donna. Let me know if uh I want to hear your, if you sent us anything in this fan mail, like please comment down below. I'm going to heart every single one of y'all's comments, but I want to know from Donna if this was made by her. If she, if it, if it was like, this is so beautiful. No, I guess it'll say it in the letter, right? Cookie, we could put you on the plate. There's no. Oh, maybe it fell out of this. Oh, okay. Cause it says wipe with damp cloth. Do not wash or put in. And waste. This yeah. is it. This is a clear plate, and then this and then they is, put that underneath it. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what I'm talking about? Like one of those plate holders. Right. Yeah. This so put it on display. Yeah. yeah. It's so colorful. Want some more chocolate? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> I have not had supper. We have now. Thank you so much, Sandy. Right? Sandy sent that. Yes. You're Santa. Right. Or Sandy. Mm -hmm. Sam. Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking good. Alright, so here's this one. Oh. Oh, wait. I gotta open this one. Oh. This is from. I think I know who this is from. Yes. 
very nice pillow too. What's up? But who sent this? Mm -hmm. They're mermaids. Uh, this is a, a guy and a girl mermaid. Well, a merman. Look. I don't know who sent that though. Thank you so much, whoever sent this. That's you and I. That's us? Mm -hmm. That's how we would look as a mermaid people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's as skinny as I'll ever be. <laughs> That's cute. That's as buff as I'll ever be mm -hmm. while eating Sandy's chocolate from Hawaii. This is so freaking cute. It was so cool. That's I'm putting that on my bed. Freaking awesome. It goes, Actually, it matches. It does match. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess you pre open this one too. Let me get to this small stuff. Well, this is small. Okay. This is from Melissa Taylor. I think that's some cursive. From Morristown, Tennessee. I think that's the name. Or Looks like it to me. Morristown. Okay. Let's see. Let's... Oh. Whoa. Is that minion ribbon? Minion ribbon. Sweet. What are these? Oh, I know what those are. Oh my god, I know who that's from. Who is this, this from? This lady that makes them, the, they're for bowls. Like when they're hot and they come out the microwave. Like a, oh. You know how she's like a pot holder? Whoa, this is so cool. Oh my god, All I'm right. really excited. Dude, look at that. This is to, I guess, hold bowls? Yes. I've been wanting some of those. Look how cute. <laughs> well, you can definitely take some. Well, I think she even sent some to Melissa, too. That's how, like, I've seen them on there, too. Oh, she did? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it says Omar, Boston, Max, and Ethan. Oh, it says that on yeah, there? Yeah, right here. Oh, cool. I'm going to assume that the Paw Patrol is for Boston. Look at this. What is, who's this? I don't know who that's for, but they're... Gingerbread could be for Max. It's really cute. And then there is some hand soap. Can't ever go wrong with hand soap and lotion. Thank you so much. These are... Mm. Is this a bracelet? This is so cute. Oh, that smells nice. It's like they're like Malia, the bracelet. <laughs> You're just making me feel bad all over again. It's more Christmas stuff. I feel so bad. It's, it's for Ariana too. Aww. That's so thankful, or thoughtful, sorry, thankful. I'm thankful, this is thoughtful. And then this is for you, Aww. for Tiffany. There's all kinds of goodies in here. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, this is for you, let me fix. I'm just being nosy. <laughs> You're being nosy. Melissa, thank you so much for this. There's so much cool stuff. And then, whoa, what is this? Look at this oh, ornament. That would look really good on the tree. Dang. Next year. It, next year? No, Ooh. this year. Oh my god. I just got really excited. Why? Oh my god. I love long necklaces with medallions on it. Yeah? Ah, oh, that's it pretty. It has favorite colors in it. That's so pretty. I am so excited for this. I was about to put this on my neck right here. This is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> I am so excited by this necklace. Look understand. how pretty that is. I know. This would look Wait, good on the does it go that way? Year. Nope. That way. That way. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like this. I wonder if she made that. Oh, That's so cute. Yeah. And then here's some more minion uh, ribbon. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another one. Another minion ribbon? No, there's another Christmas ornament. Yeah. Aww. The light of Christmas is family. Aww. Look at that. It is. That is so thoughtful. Thank you so much, Melissa. And I think she made this. Wait, it's missing the thought thing to it. I think. Just so you know, Melissa, I'm totally using balsam. I mean, obviously, you need to but <laughs> these things are <have> exciting. <laughs> I'm glad that a lot of this stuff that is fragile, it, it goes to show you that during Christmas time, one of the most busiest times, they were really taking care of stuff. I mean, nothing that we've gotten has been broken, knock on, on wood, 
because I get fan mail and there's a lot of things that people send that, that shows up broken. Um, a lot of portraits that have glass in them, those break so easy. All right, we have a lot of little little stuff too. Here, so let's get to that. Here, there's that. What's this? Um, it says the one. This is for Patty. This is for Boston. Where's the knife? I lost the knife. Oh, no, 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 I didn't lose it. Right here. I don't know who these are from. Whoa, what is this? Oh, cool. It's a candle. Is it? Yeah, and it's so it's so decorated. It's like a it's like a marriage candle. Like a unity candle? I think. What does it say at the, oh. the bottom? There's a card here. It's a union HBCC. It's a unity candle. Oh. This is from Joni Stout and CJ Palmer. Henderson Bell Candle. If you guys want to Google them, you totally can if you want to get one of their candles. That's so nice of them to send us some. That is so cute. Aww. Look at the picture on the box. I know, I've seen it. Yeah, it's called, yeah, exactly what you said, Union. I've never heard of a Union candle. It's a, yeah, you never seen Unity candles? It's uh -oh. where, like, the husband has one candle and then the bride, or, you know, the groom has one candle and then the bride has another. And then at the same time, they light a candle saying that they become one. Okay. It's almost like you can do it with candles or you can do it with fans. Right. And you have like a, a sand I don't know who these are from. Michelle Martin from Canada. Oh, cool. It's a sock monkey. Oh, oh my God. How Look. Cute. Hold on. There's, there's a letter here. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Hey, look, Cookie, you got a friend now. <laughs> no, no, that is no. not for you. Luna loves stuffed animals. She tears them up like that. Uh, okay, it says don't, don't read this letter on, but I'm, I'm just going to kind of skim through it real quick. Okay, this is for Boston. Boston actually really loves stuff like this, believe it or not. This People is love that. Yeah. I wish I knew who this was from. Aww. Michelle called me Big Bro. I love you. Alright, okay, I'm going to follow Michelle on Twitter right now. I don't even believe myself when I say I'll be ready in five minutes. This has to go on your refrigerator. Our refrigerator? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what is this? Where did that just come from? I think it came out of one of these boxes. It didn't come out of the whistleblower box, did it? I don't know. Somebody's hair? There's, there's some, this is like, I, I, first I was looking at him like, well, cook, cook, Cookie's been shedding a little bit. That's not Cookie hair. This is someone's hair from their head. It's like, it's got like gray hair in it. That's not my, that's not Luna either. Her hair is really curly. What, what the hell? Are you sure it didn't come out of this? I swear. It didn't come out of the whistleblower? I don't, it was just, it was sitting on, it was sitting right on the floor. Like right by these packages. I don't know. Okay. Out of the packages that we opened, one of those people had to have sent me a locket of hair. And I don't know. Did, did it. Was it for this? It did not come out of the Unity candle. There's no reason for hair to be in the Unity candle. Okay, I'm confused. Did one of the letters say, hey, I'm sending you some of my hair. Can you send me some back? Please, if any of you sent me some hair, don't do it again. Thanks. I, I want to know. I really want to know. 
It's not the first time somebody sent me like body parts. I mean, this Did is not really it? considered. Oh. That's hair. That's, That's like human hair. This is human hair, and it's not my hair. It's not Tiffany's hair. It's not anybody who lives in my house hair. That's dark too. Yeah, and it's got gray, like gray hair mixed in it. Cookie, what is going on? I know, honey. Mm. You don't understand. I, I thought I legit thought it was Cookie's hair at first. That's not your hair, Chris. Oh, wow. Oh, you didn't read the letter, did you? Oh. Or did you read it? Or? Um, I couldn't. It says not to read it. But that's for Boston, and they said that they really want to meet Patty and. Um, and who's it from? It's from Michelle. It doesn't say the. But this is her Twitter and Instagram. I'm gonna fire it. Do you know who sent these? No. Because like, look how cute that is. I think that was okay. So when. That's for me. Chelsea, Chelsea and James did a live stream. I think they somebody had sent them some stuff to get to us. Dang! I wish I knew who this from. This is so pretty. Yeah. So. Is this like all those protective you. crystals? I probably already follow Michelle. Okay, um, hang on one second. Okay, there we go. What it is charmed. Um, here we go, Michelle. Bam, following you back. There's Michelle right there. Give me keys. You should follow Michelle too. Who? What is? What is it? Um, I I would share her Twitter handle, but I don't want to. I'm gonna message her. I'm gonna be like, hey, thanks so much. What is it? Sent a picture. Bam. Took a picture of her letter too. What's her name on there? Or her ad? It's right there. I don't know if she wants us to share it, so. Yeah. Alright, this is, I don't know who this is from. I think this had came from one of Chelsea's. Oh, cool. Look, this is uh, stuff for the dogs, I think. <laughs> Again. I'm sorry. This is cool. Okay, there we go. It's a it's a ghost inside of a, a Santa sock. I think that's what it is. That looks like one. That's, that's an so ornament. Yeah, it's an ornament. It's a tree ornament. That's so cute. Look, there's something. There's a bone for Luna. It's a magnet. These are magnets. <laughs> Luna's like... Am I going to get that now? Because I'll tear it up. There's one for Cookie. Thank you so much. Whoever sent this, I'm sorry. Uh, this is Jack. This is the dog that we rescued. My sister has Jack now, by the way. If you're wondering if you haven't seen him in any videos. She said... It's for Boston, but don't worry. It's not haunted. It might kick my butt. Okay, this is from... Find out right now. Okay, this one says, please open on a video. Or does it say not to open it on a video? I don't know. It says, please and thank you. Okay. I don't know if they want me to read this out loud, but maybe, maybe they do. But it's from Wicked Misfits, aka Curtis. Wait, I've seen that person, that name before. Legendsofamerica.com. Okay, there's, there's stuff in here that they made. It's a medicine bag. There's something in here for you, too. Let's see. 
Oh, well, that's freaking cool. Look at this. What the heck? Oh, those Dang. are so cute. It's a medicine bag. Whoa, Curtis, thanks so much, man. That is so neat. Oh, wait, I think there's something in here, too. Oh, 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 oh there's sage in here. Oh, wow. That's there's sage awesome. and... And then there's like a coin. Oh, is that a protective coin? Oh wow, look at that. It's a that's a it's a dollar. An old dollar. From nineteen seventy two. It's a dollar coin. Okay, I just spilled this age all over me. There's I think there's two of them. There's a couple rocks in there, I think. Or a little a couple stones. Okay, there is definitely... The necklace is made out of actual medicine. Wait, wait. This necklace is... Oh, never mind. I lied. This necklace is an actual medicine bag made by hand by Curtis. So it's by the um, Wicked Misfit. So it's, oh, right. it's made by him. We thought it would be a good protection for you on your trips. Which, this is It's beautiful. So what the medicine bag is intended for is to hold protection stones and crystals. My husband is from the Lakota tribe and told me to make sure to let you know that this is a very safe and you should pick Aww. or choose your own crystals and stones to place inside the bag. He has already put some sage and stones for safety in the bag. If you can, I will, tr wait, if I can, I will try and include the reasoning for the medicine bag. He has also made one for Tiffany, but we did not send it because, um, oh, they didn't send it because they weren't sure if that was going to be here when you opened it. Please let us okay. know. If she would like us to send it, I would love it. I'm going to give you this one. Because if you didn't know, uh, the house that Tiffany lives in, and I mean, no clickbait. I I've done a few videos there, and it's I'm, I'm probably going to be selling the house at one point. Um, if somebody, is, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be some paranormal investigators. I mean, I've mentioned so many times I'm not a paranormal investigator. I do love seeking out, you know, haunted locations and, and I knew what I was getting myself into I didn't think it'd be and honestly it hasn't been would you say it's been dangerous I mean it's just been scary it's just been scary I wouldn't say it's dangerous the only thing is is that like I feel like because the house was haunted like before you bought it and then I think whatever you brought there I think I did kind of I did probably bring something there I think you brought what the, the, the bad part that's there I know but where did it come from though well, I don't know where you've been all over the place. Who knows? Where I think it had to been somewhere like close, like maybe when I went to CJ's or something, and maybe I brought something from like the Maggie Bridge because you went too. Don't go put that on me. I'm uh -huh. serious though. Let me see that. Because even when Chris walked in there, like before we even went to Maggie Bridge, she said it was something. She could feel something there. Like she said, it could have been something from a man. But like she, well, that was. She said that after. Like, that was like her second time that what she came there. Is. There's some, like some stickers. Oh, that's, that's wall art. Yeah. Yeah. Who's this from? I don't know. It's from, wait, this is not to us. This is Chelsea stuff. It's oh. open already. Why is it? Yeah, I don't know why. Oh. So somebody, all right, this is, I, I think it got mixed up with our stuff, but um, who sent this? It doesn't have a... Ghost stop. Some ghost stop? Oh no, okay, so ghost stop I think is stuff that Emma sent her, Emma the fam. Okay. So she might have just put some stuff in there. So Chelsea forgot this stuff. I think she thought it was my stuff. Hmm. This is from Ray Jolly. Whoa, look at this, it's a ninja sword. <gasps> from Australia. Whoa. <gasps> it's real. Real fake. Ray Jolly from Australia. What is that? From Ray Jolly from Australia. Could be. You can't be sitting around. You gotta help me. You let her be. She has <laughs> earned her right. She has. The Omar Gosh YouTube channel. That's so cool. I love when people send stuff from. This came all the way from Queensland. Australia. Australia. I said it like that. I know. But you didn't say Queensland. Well, you know. The Omar Gosh YouTube channel. And this is from Ray Jolly. Okay. Whoa, what is this? 
There's some. There's an SD card in here. Oh, cool. Whoa, look at that. Just please say it's not evidence to a murder. Actually, that from the dark <laughs> web. From the dark web. Right. Wait, that was this? No. Oh. No, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean. Dear Omar Gosh of Florida and the States. I always like read the letters first because I don't know. Sometimes like at the bottom of the letter it says like, please don't read this on camera. Um, Just says that um, watching my videos is is helped him out with um, with feeling better, uh, and he's been struggling a lot. Very nice of you. Did you just fart? <laughs> it was my belly. <laughs> I've never heard Tiffany fart. Ever. He acts like... She hears me fart literally like every day. I mean, every day that we get to hang out, of course. He swears that I don't. And I'm just like, you think I'm with you literally like 24-7 and I just, I would explode. But I guess he expects me to sound like him. I have no idea. Look at all of these from Liddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, those are for James and Chelsea over there. Bray, this is so nice of you. Thank you so much. He was saying that he loved like seeing the water park video and uh, loved seeing when I had proposed to you. Aww. And he's just sending some nice words of encouragement. But he didn't mention what is on the SD card. Should we look? Oh, um, here, let's do it. You want to do this? Hang on. So Libby said, okay, um, so open this one first. My butt hurts. What is this? This one's like kind of open. It's like got ripped open or something. I'll be right back. Okay. I got to go. Something's moving in there. I don't know what this is. I think it's some artwork. Let's put that there. All right. This. All right. So, Libby, I'm trying to figure out your thing here. It says, to the gang, please open first. All of my favorite YouTubers. I love all of you guys. So, this one needs to be open first from Libby. Okay. But then every single one after that says, Omar, Tiffany, James, Chelsea, Mo, Shadia, Chris, Kelsey, Patty, and Heather. So, I don't know if these... I'll message her. I find that it's going on after, unless it explains on the inside. Thirty-two gig card. Oh, this is from Dolores. Oh, yes, she will be very happy to. So she's been messaging me too, asking. Dolores. Yes. Sorry, Dolores. We love you. Yeah. These are Christmas cards. Oh, there's something on here. Oh. Wait, it's not porn, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. If there is, there will be an edit. Oh. Hey, this is Ray from Queensland, Australia. Oh. And you're watching the Oh My Gosh TV special on YouTube. So, the Oh, it's, a, it's an intro. I'm going to totally use your intro, bro. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ray. That's awesome. I was really curious. I, I, I mean, I didn't know what it was. 
I've seen some legs at first. Oh, oh is that Robert the dog? This, okay, so this is a postcard. Dear Omar, my name is Emily and I am six years old. Oh. Emily has great penmanship for six years old. I love your Robert Jr. videos so much. My mom got me my very own Robert Jr. doll. Thank you for an awesome video. We love you. Love Emily. Oh, it's over top of the barcode and it's hard for me to see. Emily Winglow from Pennsylvania. From Pennsylvania. She is six years old and she's braver than me because I won't even go near the, the Robert doll. Look. That's cool. If you have, have, I don't know if you've seen some of my videos where I've gone to the Robert the Doll like museum, and I even stayed at the house where Robert like lived in, and I did a video there. It's a haunted house called the Artist House. But I have my very own. I still have them. It's a haunted doll. I refuse to bring them inside of my home. He stays in my garage, and some people have noticed when I've made videos in my garage that he's moved around a little bit. I don't know if maybe it's just from. Maybe the wind, I, I don't know. But thank you, Emily. I guess Emily got her own Robert Jr., which is cool. I I guess it's really hard to get them. You could only get them in Key West. So Emily is from... Pennsylvania. Man, Man, Managala. Manang that is exactly why I just said Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. For Pennsylvania. Um, this one says, Dear Omar and Tiffany, please open on camera. And they are from... Ooh, cookie for it. This is from Alicia oh. O'Neill and Leanne Beaton, or Beaton. Beaton. From Australia. Oh, okay. Cool. Alrighty. If you're wondering how much it costs to send, like, a, you know, this was $2.20. I, I don't know what the currency exchange is from Australia. So it's it's probably very similar, but yeah, it's two two dollars. That's not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and start opening some of these. I'll let you know. Okay, these are my favorite kind of letters. <laughs> what is it? Is it a drawing? Well, you know, they have have little drawing, but they're not. They're like just simple. Dear Omar and Tiffany, sorry if I spell your name wrong, Tiffany. There's really no wrong way to spell Tiffany. <laughs> there's really not. Now, there's a few ways to spell Omar wrong. No, I'm just kidding. So, uh, sorry if I uh, spell your name wrong, Tiffany. My my mom, they said, they say mom. Mm -hmm. I love that. My mummy was the one to show me your videos and now I watch them with her on my own. My mom doesn't know that I'm writing this. I want to surprise her. She also thinks you're cool and we are glad you found someone to make you happy. Aww. You sound, you, oh, can you give my mom a shout out please? Her name is Leanne Beaton. Aww. My name is Alicia O'Neill. Hi Tiffany, you are so sweet and you make Omar happy. What? I love it. I could have sworn you she was like I did not watch the tape. Okay, I might have to watch it. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure she was like He's so negative. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both for making my mom smile. Oh well Leanne, you're the greatest mom ever. <laughs> I just wanna say that. And we love you. We love you, Alicia. Thank you for thinking of us. It's very, very sweet of you to send this. All the way from Australia to us to read. So I'm not sure when you sent this. My apologies if it's been a long time. Sorry. Okay. This is from. Let's read off um, all these. Well, this is. Oh, well, there's so many cards. Look, I opened this. This is from Sally Reed, and it says, "Do not bend." So this one's for James and Chelsea. I'm gonna add that to their pile. Okay. And this is for me and you. From Sally, and she's from. Okay, this is not right because all I keep wanting to say is white boy, and that's not what it says. <laughs> what is does it? that say? Whitby, Whitby, Ont, Whit, Whitby, Ontario. Oh, okay, that explains. Okay, because I was a, confused. So really shiny. Yeah. Thin. Yeah. So this is Christmas stuff, I think. I mean, it's sure. it's a red card. I'm not gonna. 
have time to read all these. We have so many letters and cards, well, I'm but I'm going to, I'm going to read cards. off the names and look, that's so cute. I feel so bad reading like Christmas cards right now. It says to Omar and Tiffany, Omar's kids, Tiffany's kids, your dogs, birds. We love your awesome videos, you guys. From your fam, Sally, my boyfriend, Jeff, our rabbit, Johnny Reed. Oh, you have a rabbit. But there we go. Right there. Thank you. Happy belated Christmas. I'm so sorry. Okay, the six-year-old. Her last name is Wingo. Because here is the sibling. Hi, Omar. You are my favorite YouTuber. I'm eight years old and my whole family loves your videos. My sister, Emily, and I would love to meet you one day. Caroline Wingo. That's her name. Wingo. Okay. Yes. All right, we also have, um, this is not for me. That's not? Yeah, it's like someone random. It's not, not my, uh, I think it was, I don't know. But we have, this is from Armorillo. Oh, this is the Wingo family. Look, that's more. This is from Mar, Marjone, Ma Majori, Majori Peck from Boswell, Indiana. We have something here from Ricky Humphreys from Missouri. Um, Doris Hawk, I think, from Big Rapids, Michigan. Is it Big Rapids? Never heard of that. Thank you so much. Looks like a Christmas card. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And this is from Amy Young from Michigan. Thank you, Amy. Brittany, I know who Brittany is, from Cape Coral, Florida. Brittany Howell, uh, Josh P. from Michigan, Mary from DeFiance, oh, yeah, Ohio. Yeah, and we have Nan Muller from Hampton, New York. Uh, this one doesn't have a name. Um, thank you, though. That's uh, it's from Iowa, Des Moines. Des Moines? How do you say that? Des Moines. Des Moines, yeah, I think. Um, Tammy Adams from Youngstown, Ohio, Cassandra Taylor from Paris, Tennessee, Betty Barlow from Bridgeport, is that Florida or Illinois? I think it's Illinois. O'Lear from Washington, Vancouver, I think, or Vank, V-A-N-C. Brian and Joni from Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, this is so pretty. It's all decorated. This is from Ember from North Beach, Maryland. Ember, I think I know that person. Stephanie Kiefer from Midway, Pennsylvania. A lot of Christmas cards. Disha Austin from Cambridge. What's VJ? VJ? Yeah. I don't know. Vermont? Maybe I'll, maybe it looked like a J. I think it's Vermont. Cambridge, Vermont. Yeah. That sounds about right. That sounds right. And that was um, from D... D... It, it won't... It's not spelled... Well, not, not that it's not spelled right. It has... Um, it's like a stamp. So it's a little smudged. I think it's Deidre Austin. Pretty sure. Thank you, Deidre. Jennifer Durays from Deltona, Florida. That's really close. And this is from Melissa Long from Texas. This is from Blaine Westheffer from Ohio. And we have this from, from Richmond, Virginia. Doesn't have a name on it. Amanda Lewis from Louisville, Kentucky. Got this from, is it, I can't read that name. Is it Susan from Pennsylvania? Susan Dolls? Yeah, I don't know. This is from John from Michigan, Port Her Huron, Michigan. Amber Roberts from Oklahoma. Miss Carrie Rush from Michigan. Angela Deedley from Iowa. Man, it's so cool. We got fans like from all over the US too. And all over the world. 
Melinda from Danville, Pennsylvania. Shauna Annette from Winston, Salem. And that's North Carolina. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened, but we ended up... Yeah, the camera died. I think we went over the 23 minute mark again. I don't even know how long this video is, but I'm not going to even edit it. It's going to be like an uncut video. Like, so kind of like... Yeah, right? Oh, this, this was written on Boston's birthday. Was it? November 25th. And these are real feathers of birds. Oh, cool. Whoa, let me see that. It's Look from pretty. Um, it's from Cherie Southcott. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, some of these. This is from Kathy Relaford from Craig, Colorado. And this one doesn't have a name, but they, they are from Leonard City. And I think it's Tennessee. But this one is from Valer Valeria Garcia. And it says, seventh grade student. Let me see what this is all about. It's printed really nice. It says, Dear Mr. Omar, my name is Valeria Garcia. I live in Liberal, Kansas, and I go to school at, I'm not going to put the name of her school, just protection for her. I have three older siblings and one younger sibling by three minutes. She has a twin? She's my identical twin sister. Oh, wow. And she is someone that I trust and love so much. It is my first year playing basketball, and it is my favorite sport, and I maybe want to do track. Some of my favorite things to do when I have free time are to hang out with my sister and friends and also watch your videos. I am writing this letter to you because we are writing letters to someone we look up to and choose you. Aww. And I choose you. I look up to you for a number of reasons. First, you are a hard worker and you never gave up on your YouTube channel. And you work very hard to get to the place you're at now. Second, you are a positive person and care about others' safety while you guys are filming haunted exploration videos. Third and finally, I look up to you because you're a brave person, not only because you're brave enough to go to dangerous places, but you are also brave enough because you don't let the negativity get to you. You never give up on stuff. You are one of my favorite YouTubers and I love your videos. I really hope that you get my letter and if you do, thank you for taking the time out of your day to read this letter. If it's not too much to ask, I would like you to send me something in return and write back to me so that I know you read my letter. Again, I look up to you so much and hearing back from you would mean so much to me. Well, I'm definitely going to send you something back. Um, but I just want to thank you in person. Like, you know, just after reading this, like it, it means it means the world to me that that you look up to me and you look up to me that much I mean I don't think I even look up to myself that much and I should you know because I mean a lot of this is true I mean I'm not perfect I have given up on myself a few times you know and I've um, I've I've been hard on myself lately too so this is really nice to read right now especially right now so this thank you so much I love you Valeria I, I hope I said that right name right miss garcia you know garcia is in my my family too we're probably like distant cousins believe it or not but and she wrote this back in december so my apologies for reading this so late but honestly i'm glad i'm reading this today i'm very very glad because i needed to read this today thank you <sighs> okay i was about to cry I'm not. Can you save the address yeah. right there? Well, thank you so much for taking the time to send that to me. That's that's very very nice of you. Um, do you want me to read these out really quick? Um, sure. This is from Brittany Corinne. This is from the Weaver family. Oh, there's more stuff here. This is from Jenny the Fam. Oh, from Jenny. Yes. <laughs> we have one of these in the Norfolk house. Sorry, know what that is. Okay. Um, this is from Gabriel Jacobson. This is from Trina from Utah. Christy 
Oh, look, there's a ton of Christmas cards here. Oh, yeah, there's... For Heather. Yeah. There's even one here for Melissa and Jean. There's one in here, too, for, like, everybody. For, like, Carlos and... Okay. Um, Sorry, Dolores, getting so late to this. This is from Dolores from New Jersey. Yeah, Dolores Jensen. This is for yeah. her, too. Um, this is from Russell Flower... Or Fuller. Russell Fuller. From New York. Krista Burgess. There's even one here from... Oh, there's... One to Mo. Yeah, that's what Dylan, that's what these ones are. CJ. So these ones are from I'm gonna open mine. Catherine wait, what's her name? Catherine in Enderly. And she sent some to Thank you, Dolores. Us. That one's for us. This one's okay. for Carlos and Patty and Heather, Mel and Shadia, CJ so and many. Rachel, James, Sunny Deeds, and Chris. Um, Morris County, Tennessee. There's a name on that one. Oh, there's like actual gifts in here. Oh, uh, Dolores? Yeah. To James. Okay, there's. This is to James and Chelsea. Let's put that aside. And if you're wondering, James and Chelsea, please say a prayer for them. They moved. They actually moved out of my house just recently, and they are in the process of like finding their their own home right now. They're down south. James wants to be closer to his kids. I don't blame him. He does miss them a lot. Uh, but please say a prayer for them because they they for sure had a lock. And that's why they moved out of my house. They had a lock on a house that they really loved. And it ended up not working out for them. They made a whole video on it. If you want, you could go down in the description. at the Actually, every one of my videos at the bottom, there is links to their channels. And you could check them out. And But I'm pretty sure Chelsea and James, they, they made a video on like you know what happened you know the exact details i don't want to spoil it so you'll have to check it out for yourself okay here let me hold on let me finish reading off these okay. cards just so these people know that we're going to get some new cards this is from joseph verbita and let me just say i love the street that he lives on sandwich street on sandwich street yep this is from <laughs> jesse from alabama i can't tell this, this one is from doesn't have a name dari Darnie. The Dart family? Yeah, from Utah. Draper, Draper, Utah. That's for, for James and Chelsea. Oh, it is. That's their pile. And this is Ruth Ann Tyler. And this just doesn't have a name either. Um, <sighs> Big shout out to Tiffany for helping me with fan mail. Stephanie Rainier. Tim and Angela Nash. Tammy Arrowhead. D. Ralph. Kind of sounds like a rap name. Kimberly <laughs> D. Ralph. White. And Angela Burbank. And Kathy, Kathy McDonald. Joseph Deppler. Kendall Brown. Darlene Douglas. Christine Patterson. Um, Coda Bigelow, I think. And Thomas from Marion, Virginia. We're going to be opening all these, just so you know. Got a lot of, there's like a lot of Christmas cards. Look, we have all of these two that we need to open from Libby as well. Okay. Alright, so Omar and Nick. Okay. That's from Dolores, right? Oh snap! What is it? Oh snap! Oh, uh, can't can't go wrong. It's can't totally go wrong. Whoa! Barton's caramel. Oh. Ooh. What? <laughs> More chocolate? Talking about chocolate. Look, I am gonna have one of Queen Anne. It's chocolate me. covered cherries. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You can have these. Oh, yeah, you can take that one. I'll take this one. Mm -hmm. I love caramel. You can have the chocolate. Yeah. Thank oh, you so much, yeah. Dolores. Very, very sweet of you. I can get some of that caramel. Do y'all say caramel or caramel? I say caramel, I think. Don't I say caramel? I, yeah, say, I say caramel. Car I say caramel. A lot of people are like, oh, caramel. you know, you know what? I'm not gonna eat these right now. I need to not not eat those right now. I'm just gonna wait. Okay? Uh -huh. I'm just gonna wait. And then there's this from Fran. This is from Fran. We're just gonna open this really quick. Okay. <laughs> I'm running out of I'm I'm sure like people just wanna yeah, get back to their to life see. right now. There is a whole bunch of drawing. Video's gonna be over soon, okay. Promise. Yes, we're almost done. All right, there's a whole bunch of drawings. We're going to look at that. So this is from Libby. Okay. This is open first. All of these are from Libby. Okay. 
And Libby's our girl. She lives in Vegas. Just so you know. So we're going to open it? Yeah, this says open first. Okay. This one says it. Oh, look at all these Christmas cards. <laughs> okay. Hi, okay. Uh, make sure Mo, Chris, Kelsey, Patty, Heather get their gifts. Omar, yours, and Tiff, James, and Chelsea gifts can be open right away. If you like or open while you are together. Thank you. I haven't seen Mo in a hot minute. I hope you guys. Keeps inviting me to go to Canada. I'm like, it's got to get warm first. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know who belongs to what because this one says it has all of our names. It has everybody's names on it. They all say the same. So I don't know who's is what unless they're like inside. I don't get We're just going to figure it out. <laughs> We're going to figure it out. We're just going to open all of them. Unless it says it inside. Okay. Oh, girl, there's some scented stuff up in here. All right, this is for Patty and Heather. Oh, wait. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What is this? This is my house cheap in All right, so this is for Patty and Heather, and this is for Chris and Kelsey. Okay, do you know those for sure? That Omar? Oh, there's something in there. Hmm. This is from Libby. That's right, so, so cute. Look, it's the, it's the kissy emoji. And this is for me. And this is for Shadia, girl. Shadia, we've got to smell it together. <gasps> it's a mermaid keychain. Look at that. I love it. Thank you so much. No, it's not just, um, it's a little mermaid. Look. Here, focus. Focus. There we go. Here, hang on. Okay, there we go. All right, so Bam! That is so cool. Look, Daddy. Ariel. I love that. Wait, is it Ariel or Ariel? Ariel, 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 mm -hmm. Ariel. Okay. From from the Little Mermaid. I'm getting everybody's stuff situated. She looks so pretty. I'm figuring it out. And I think I got chocolate on her. I think I melted some chocolate from so my this fingers. This is for me and you. Thank, Thank you so much, Libby. Place. I love it. Here, that's for me and you. I love that. By the way, too. Thanks for drawing that. That's your menu. You want to open that? Okay. Okay, so this is for Shania and Mo. This is for Chris. Peace on Earth. Omar and Tiffany. Omar, you are such an amazing human. Anybody a fan can ask and be for. Aww. I love how creative you can be with your videos. I especially love the haunted videos as well. Your family is beautiful. I'm a huge fan and I love your content, especially love the haunted videos. <laughs> and then she has in parentheses, S-H-I-T. I said that twice, my bad. <laughs> and then Tiffany, I think you're such a beautiful woman and seeing you with Omar makes me happy. You seem like a fun, outgoing, friendly person to be around. She's really not. Um. Your two kitties are beautiful and they are lucky to have a mother like you. Yes, they are. You and Omar make a beautiful couple. I hope you guys have a great holiday and a happy new year as well. Love Libby from Las Vegas. Libby, I'm so, you know, I was just in Las Vegas and I'm she was, like she sad. She messaged that, me. I didn't see it until after. Uh -huh. She kept messaging me and um, apparently she was asking me how long you were going to be there and I didn't see it until like a few days after you had already left I wasn't there very long like I, I went to the Luxor made a couple videos and yes. and I checked out like it was it was really quick and I kept going back and forth from there and went to California and then, hey no stop it but thank you so much Libby that's very very sweet of you I love the kind words too and thank you for saying I'm creative too because sometimes Sometimes I feel like I'm like I'm losing my creativeness, and I like I don't want to lose my creativeness. I, I need to like I feel like I need to be more creative, more. But anyways, this video is super long. I know a lot of you like long videos, and I'm glad, I'm glad you do. Thank you for all the mail, and I. You'll see. Um, I, I'm gonna start probably closing out my P.O. box and I've had the same P.O. box for so long I'm so sad to do I mean everybody from the post office that I go to there uh, big shout out to Robin to Jill um, who's there what's Robin's son's name um, gosh I forgot his name 
but him too. <laughs> and I mean, these, these people like they become kind of like family to you because you go there. Like you know, I, I've been going there since I was a hairdresser. I mean, I, yeah, since 2013, I've had this PO box, and it, it's it's cool. Like I even have their phone numbers. They they text me and stuff like, hey man, you gonna come pick up your mail, bro? Like come get it soon. So yeah, thank you so much for all the mail. Like I, I really do appreciate it. I I don't want people thinking that that I'm unthankful and, and ungrateful. You know, I, I love all of this, but honestly, most of all, because I know there's a lot of people that aren't able to send any mail my way or, or ever. Or, you know, I mean, I, I get messages too, like, hey man, like I can't be a member and I can't financially support you. Like, I don't, I don't really care about any of that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice gesture. Like, I love that you're able to, to send me stuff. But at the end of the day, like, I just appreciate you supporting my channel and supporting my work and i mean just i mean i i do read some comments here and there I, I don't get to read all of them but i try to read as many as i possibly can especially when i drop a fresh video and i i love i love encouraging comments i love when people you know say you know just just like how libby said you know how creative i am and you know i, I love seeing like i mean that to me just some nice words is is all you need to do like i don't i don't really need anything um, I'm, I'm blessed with, I mean, I have a roof over my head, I have my family, you know, I'm loved and, and you guys love me and you guys support my work and that's, that's really all I need at the end of the day. I don't need, I don't need mail. I, I don't, I don't need, um, I, I don't want to come off as like, I'm just, I'm being ungrateful. I, I don't want people to think that like, I am very grateful, you know, but I just, I really just appreciate at the end of the day that you're there for me and if, if I see you out in public if you see me out in public don't be afraid like I am like who you see me on like on camera that's that's who I am I mean I might just be a little bit more quiet you know because you know I'm just like in my own element you know but come say hi to me you know what I mean I love when people come say hi to me but there's sometimes I'll get messages maybe like on Twitter or social media and they're like man I, I seen you out like I seen you at the fair and I, I, I was so scared to to come say hi to you you know because I like, I, I didn't know if, like, you know, I was bothering you. Like, trust me, you're not bothering me. I could be busy with my family, eating a dinner, whatever, and I honestly, I would not care if you came up and wanted to take a picture with me or even just give me a hug or a handshake. Like, I love that, and I love y'all's support, and, and I'm very, very truly thankful for it. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me creative. But... Thank you so much. Thank you for all the fan mail that you guys have sent me over the years. I I do plan on maybe doing fan mail again in the future. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably take a small break from it. And when I decide to open a P.O. box back up, it's going to be one a little closer to home. That way I don't have to drive out so far to, to get it. And um, I, I think some people didn't realize that too they have sent me fan mail they think that it's like real close it's actually it's it's a long distance from me and uh sometimes like i can't just go out there like i'll like i have to go get my kids from school and um ethan's in college classes right now so i gotta get him early from school i gotta take kids to their music lessons sometimes so when i'm here at home like i'm, I'm doing a lot of running around for my kids making sure they're fed and then trying to juggle like editing videos and work and you know stuff like that you know, so it's uh, having to, to to do something extra. You know, it's 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 kind of hard. So that's another. And plus, like I I kind of like having a a bunch of fan mail too. You know, like we did today instead of having just like one or two things. You know, so that that is another. I, I know that's like, probably shouldn't be an excuse, but um, I I do like having a, a bigger fan mail episode. So it's, um, you know, some more content, but I did, did not expect to wait so long. There was a lot of you that were waiting and I'm so, so sorry. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. I'm very, very, very appreciative of everything. All the goodies, love the light, love the chocolates, love all the cards. I, I love everything that you guys sent me. The blankets, those are beautiful, by the way. Thank you again. But I'm going to go ahead and start letting you go. Make sure to smash the like button if you haven't already. And I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos from here on out. I got a couple Tesla videos, too. I know some of you guys love, some of you guys hate. But um, I, I did repair my Tesla. There was an issue with it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty interesting video. That will be probably coming out right after this video. So, 
Um, plus, I mean, it's it's a mixture of other content too. It's not just that. Anytime I have like a Tesla video, there's more to it. You know, I'll, I'll have my family mixed in there and stuff too. But um, I guess that's all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Sorry for the tardiness on opening some of this stuff. A uh, big shout out to Tiffany for helping me out. She's going home tomorrow, like tonight, pretty much. And she's gonna she's gonna be home tomorrow, uh, early in the morning. A lot of you guys have been asking for her. We haven't seen each other in, in quite a while, so it was nice uh, having her over visiting. So yeah, wish her luck. Safe travels back home. We're gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for being a part of this fan mail episode, possibly the last one for a while. I gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.